Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Okay guys, welcome back. I will let the project file link in my description below. You can check it from there. So firstly, for that we have to use a pen tool or you can press G for that. And let's enable title action save for that. Go to here and click to title action save. And then let's make one line to here and hold shift and let's click to here to make a straight line and now let's change the stroke size i'm gonna use four and change the color let's make it white and click ok and then go to pen behind and hold ctrl double click to pen behind to move the anchor point to the center now select the shape layer and let's move it to the center like this okay nice and now we can turn off the title action save now select the shape layer and let's go to that and let's add trim pads and open the trim path settings and let's add an end keyframe and change it to 0 and go to 10 keyframe let's make it 100 and select keyframes make them easy and go to graph editor let's zoom the graph and select the right part let's move it like this and the left part as well let's see okay select the last keyframe and let's move it to the right a little bit to make it slowly Let's see now. Nice. And then select the shape layer. Let's rename it to line and press P, make position keyframe. And go to 10 keyframe with holding shift and page down. And let's move it to the left. Now select these keyframes as well and make them easy. And go to graph editor. Let's move the right part to the left. Let's see again. Okay, we can move the last keyframe to the right a little bit. Let's see now. Nice. And now let's write our text. For that, let's go to Type Tool or you can press Ctrl T. And let's go somewhere to here. Let's just click to here and write our text. For example, Hello. And then let's go to Selection Tool. And let's move it something like this and change the size of it. Okay, nice. And then hold control, double click to pan behind, to move the anchor point to the center, and go to align. Let's move it to the center. Maybe we can change the size a little bit more, like this. Okay, nice. Now select this text and let's go to the rectangle tool and let's make one mask like this. Okay, nice. Now it's time to make an animation for it. So, first of all, let's go to 10 keyframe and let's make a static keyframe for this line. And go to 3 second and let's move it to the right, to here. Nice. And now select keyframes and go to graph editor again. Let's zoom the graph. And now at this time select the right part, let's move it to the right. And the left part, let's move it like this. Let's see. Okay, let's select keyframes and go to graph editor again. And move it a little bit to the right. And this part as well. Let's see here. Okay, nice. Now at this time, let's go to here and then select the mask one. Let's open the mask one. And let's make a mask has keyframe. And then go to the last keyframe of the line. Let's go to pen tool and let's make a one point to here. And then select the left point. Let's move it to the right like this. Also, let's click to here to invert it and select keyframes, make them easy and go to graph editor. Let's change the graph like this. Let's see here. Okay, we can maybe move it to the right. So it will start from there. Let's see now. And also, let's select the last keyframe and move it to here. Let's see now. Okay, actually, let's select the last two keyframes of the line and go to graph editor. Let's change the last two keyframes of the graph as the previous one. So let's move the left one to the left and the right one to the left. Like this. Let's see here. Also select the last keyframe and move it to the right a little bit. Let's see now. Nice. 
and also select these keyframes and make them easy easy again to remove the graph vector settings let's see okay we can move it to the left that's the timing okay we can, let's zoom to here maybe a little bit to the right Okay, I think this one is good. Let's see the full project. Okay, nice. Also at this time, let's select the line again and go to the edit and split the layer. And at this time, select the line too and go to pen behind. Let's zoom a little bit and hold control. Let's move the anchor point to the down. And select the line too, press R, make rotation keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. Let's change rotation like this and go to 10 keyframe. Let's move it to down a little bit. Let's make it 265 and go to 10 keyframe. Let's make it 270. Select keyframes and make them easy. Let's see. Okay, select these keyframes and move them to the right. Let's see now. Nice. Also select the line 2 and hold shift press S. Let's go to here. And make scale keyframe and let's uncheck here. And go to the end. Let's change the scale like this. Let's zoom to here. And change scale a little bit more. Okay, nice. And select keyframes and make them easy. Let's see. Okay, we can move this keyframe to here. Let's see now. Okay, maybe a little bit to the right. At this time, select line 2 and press U so we can see all the keyframes. And then let's go to somewhere to here and make set a keyframe for the end keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. Let's make it 0. Select the last keyframe and move it to the right. And select keyframes, go to graph vector. And select this part, let's move it to the left. Let's see. Okay, let's select these scale keyframes and let's move them to the right. And select the last keyframe of this scale and let's move it to the left a little bit. Let's see now. Okay, we can move the first keyframe to the right a little bit more. Let's see. Okay, nice. Select this text and go to type tool. Let's select the last two letters and change the color of it. Let's make it yellow. Or maybe we can change this one as well. Let's make it yellow as well. And then let's go to effects presets. Let's search for CC light. And then let's select the CC light sweep and let's use it on the text. Now let's go to somewhere to here and select the slide. Let's move it like this and change the color so it will be more visible. Okay, let's change the color of the text again. Let's make it blue so it will be visible on it. Let's make it dark blue and click OK. Also, let's change the color of the background. Let's go to composition settings and change it to white. And click OK. And select these lines. Let's change the color of them as well. Let's make it blue. And click OK. Now let's go to somewhere to here and select the text. And let's make a center keyframe for this light. And go to 10 keyframe. Let's move it like this. Now press U so we can see the CC light sweep keyframes and select keyframes. Let's make them easy. Let's see. Okay, select last keyframe and move it to the right so it will be more visible. Okay, maybe we can move the keyframes to the right. Let's see now. Okay, nice. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in my video. See you in the next videos.